I'm Betsy Ronell, and I'd like to welcome you to beautiful Bedford, New York, 50 minutes outside of the city. From history to movies to horses, we've got it all. Come with me, and I'll show you. the Bedford Central School District. We are at the high school Fox Lane, right in the center and the heart of Bedford. And I'm with two fellow moms. We all have children in the district. I'm Jen Katari. I am the treasurer of the PTA here at the high school. I've been on the PTAs of the elementary and the middle schools as well. I'm also on the Booster Club for our sports and athletics program. I'm Jody Kimmel, and I am co-president of the PTA at the middle school. Tell us why each of you chose this school for your family. We chose Fox Lane because it's a top-rated school district in academics with a great mix of sciences, arts, sports, and clubs to further those interests that the children have. That was our same experience. We moved here from the city and did a lot of research and chose to come here to Fox Lane because Fox Lane is just so fantastic and so well-rounded. The academic rigor is is really just is mind-blowing to me. By the time you get to the high school and you have a little bit more of an idea of what it is that you're about, that they have amazing programs like our science research program that matches students up with community members in their areas of interest, technology, science. And the teachers are phenomenal. We have a top-notch music mm -hmm. program. We don't only have an orchestra, a band, choral uh, opportunities, and a number of, of award-winning choral opportunities at that. We also have a rock ensemble, one of the few schools that does. Our top sports in the high school are wrestling, baseball, swim and dive, and lacrosse. So we have an expression at Fox Lane, Fox is up! <laughs> what does that mean? That means we have a strong sense of community here. The school supports the community, the community supports the school. We have full stands, we have active alumni. It's really beautiful to see. All the different groups of kids come together and help each other, and it's just, it really does warm your heart. We are, uh, it, we're from such diverse backgrounds at this school, and it's just, but it's one school. It's you know, we're all foxes. The student government is very active, starting in the middle school and the, the, the grade level elections, and then the the student body elections. And in the high school, the student government leaders plan the proms. They do all the fundraising. Uh, it's a very active group. People choose regularly to come back and raise their families in this district. And in the high school, we we have teachers who have had opportunities to teach at the university level, but have chosen to teach at our school. We really have a high quality of staff, uh, and they they really make not just the high school, the, the middle school, but the elementary schools home to these children. Me, I've noticed that the kids are prepared for the next level all the way through. At the high school level, they're preparing these students for the rest of their lives. What they're, they're, they're refining their interests, getting them ready to go to the school of their choice and then prepare for a career of their choice. And I'd like to point out that we have this year a female salutatorian and valedictorian. Girl power. Fox, Fox up. up.